It's back to school for pupils across the country, but not for those at a primary school in Katleong. Now, buildings were torched last week, allegedly during service delivery protests. The incident brings violent incidents at schools back into the spotlight. For more on the story, we're joined by Gauteng Education spokesperson Steve Mabona. Steve, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So where do these kids go today? Today, it's uh, back to school. You know, majority of our schools in Gauteng, we have not received any incident which uh, suggests untoward. Uh, teaching and learning, you know, uh, resumed as per the plan. What we did on the affected uh, block, we had to cordon off, make sure that no learner will access the area. Identified uh, two classes that we accommodated the affected grade R learners. And uh, it's all system goes, um, what we're going to be doing probably in the long term is to, you know, assist the, the, the school uh, on how we're going to refurbish that. Yeah. Um, we've already sent our officials to just understand on the damages and how much will it cost us to, 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 to refurbish the school. So those pupils have not been sent to other schools and they're being accommodated in the same school? Fortunately, yes. I mean, you don't want to inconvenience parents. Uh, we had to find a way of trying to accommodate them in the same school. And fortunately, we find, uh, you know, classes that we could accommodate them. And yeah. uh, we are happy about the situation right now. So last week, your MEC was very upset. He tweeted that people of Katleong, this is what's left of a school because the community is protesting against lack of electricity. This is completely unacceptable. Forget it if you think we will fix it. What's happening? The community is saying that they were not involved. Look, um, the information that uh, is at our disposal now, um, after we have interacted with the members of the community and uh, the report that we got from the principal, is that uh, the community might not uh, have not been uh, involved actually in the banning of the school. And uh, with that information, we, we, we accepted the, the standpoint because uh, further than that, they committed that they will assist to find the culprit who might have uh, banned the school because there's an understanding that it's uh, probably a lone member of the community who are, who's responsible for that. So that commitment, uh, we're indebted to it. So we'll work with them and make sure that uh, if that person is apprehended by the police, then we support the process. But as for fixing the school in the short term, uh, unfortunately, we don't have funds uh, to can go there in the short term and fix the school. Because remember, we have schools that we still have to go back. We have a backlog. We have those that have been damaged you know, last year by rain or storm. So we really need to reprioritize and see on how we're going to assist. But in a uh, long term, yes, probably we might. But short term, we're not going to yeah. be opposing to do it. So basically, your MEC was emotional without facts and tweeted that. But when you say long term, how long before those classrooms are actually repaired? Look, we can uh, uh, probably give you a date uh, now, uh, but when we are ready, we should be in a position to come in the public space and say this is what we're going to be doing. Um, any damage to our property, to buildings, uh, it's emotive from where we are sitting. Remember, this is a new school that we've just mm. delivered in that community. So anything that will come and say probably there's vandalism or school has been burned, definitely. Uh, we're not going to be sitting and saying, um, you know, we promote that. We will, you know, condemn that in the strongest possible terms and remind the members of the community to say when we gave them the property, we said they must make sure that they safeguard. They must know what is happening in the school. Hence, we're saying where we are parked, where, you know, our, our schools, are, you know, you find equipment stolen there, but members of the community will say we don't know what happened. It's quite amazing. Uh, so hence we want commitment uh, from the members of the community. All right, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. That was Gauteng Education spokesperson Steve Mabona.